Materno lies at the foot of Mount Etna. As the Germans drew out, British troops marched in. The local inhabitants came out of their homes to express their delight at the changeover. We don't know whether living on the slopes of a volcano has anything to do with it, but the warmth of welcome borders on the embarrassing. Now, Roddy and Mama, pipe down. The senoritas of Sicily overcame the language difficulty by saying it with grapes. Where civil administration breaks down, the RAMC steps in to ensure the health of the population. Children and babies, the sick and needy, are all cared for by the medical corps, whose work is of the highest order. Let timely mention be made here of the splendid work done by a unit composed of Canadian gold miners. Heavy duty men demolishing and clearing obstructions in the path of our advance. A super job by supermen. We move south now to Syracuse Harbour, where the evacuation of British wounded is underway. The transfer of casualties from shore to lighters, from lighters to Red Cross ship. And so to the hospitals where medical science and an army of surgeons, doctors and nurses will restore them to health again. These are lads whose proudest possession is the Crusader badge of the 8th Army. Still smiling, still partners in the glorious trail they blazed from Egypt to Cape Bon and across the Mediterranean to the European trapdoor of Italy.